Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We all have bad days and snakes are no different. So we're gonna help you learn how to deal with it when your snake's being a jerk. You're watching Snake Bites. a show about a year ago called the five meanest snakes of the world now we're going to use those animals to kind of show you a little bit about why snakes are mean and how you can handle them it can be anything from animals that are hungry to being in shed to just being in a bad mood and sometimes the very unusual case with like satan where they're just mean animals the first thing i want to cover is the fact that when you go into a snake's cage you got to make sure they don't think you're food because sometimes when you do it just like this going eye as soon as you open the cage it's thinking I'm food. Now, if I stick my hand in there, I'm gonna get bit. What I wanna do is make sure it realizes it's scenting right now and basically saying, all right, this guy doesn't smell like a rodent. Now I can gently go in here and pick her up and not get bit because she realizes that I'm not a rodent. And as you can see, when I first opened up this cage, this snake was trying to bite me and really gonna come out at me, but you can see it's completely puppy dog tame now that it knows I'm not food. There are some animals that are a little aggressive by nature. The next tip that is really gonna help you not get bit is to open up the cage and not go face first. This green tree python is notorious for biting, and if I get anywhere near her face, she's gonna come out and she's gonna nail me. But what you can do is just gently go behind. Now, she's checking me out right now, so sometimes a little bit of a diversion this way will work, and you just go behind and you just can pick her up. See how she completely, now see when she turned, again, you're gonna wanna not go face first. Get from behind, distract her this way, and pull the other way. And once I actually get this animal up, if I can get her without her coming back around on me, she actually will be completely fine. You see how she went from being a super aggressive snake, ready to bite me, now she's just cruising around like nothing. Oops, not too much. Ooh, yeah. I guess that didn't work out so well. But you can see, you can avoid getting bit if you keep yourself behind. Again, the business end of that bite is gonna be on this side. Oh, just keep a wreck. Again, you don't wanna be on this side of her at all. Cause she will get you for sure. But as long as you can keep behind her mouth, you're gonna be okay. Ooh, this girl's pretty fired up. Oh, let's get her back in her cage. Today we're talking about mean snakes and I want to know your animal attack stories. Have you ever been bitten by a big snake or a dog or a person? Leave a comment below and let us know. Now I've showed you a snake that has an incredible feed response and I've showed you an animal with a green tree python that's just a little cantankerous and kind of known to be a little mean. Now those are techniques you can use for not getting bit but the one thing that I think is the most important like when handling these king rats is to do it with confidence. You just kind of go in there and pick them up. Yeah, you know, if I went in there tentatively or kind of showed the fact that I was afraid a little bit, this animal would certainly want to bite me. These guys are known for being a little aggressive and she's certainly posturing in a way that could potentially bite me. But the fact is, is if you just handle them with complete confidence, the chances of getting bit are very much diminished. You can be careful with them because you never know exactly what they're going to do. But you can't worry too much because, oh, she's getting close now. It's getting a little bit crazy, but again, I'm handling with confidence because the truth is, is even when you do get bit, it's really not nearly as bad as it looks. So again, handling with confidence is super, super important. When we highlighted the top five a year ago, we had an Anri Boa. Ironically enough, that animal has gotten very tame in the last year, so I can't use that animal as a demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead and sub in this black short tail python. Trust me, it's a little evil character as you can see. Now, going back to everything, I wanna make sure it doesn't think I'm food, which by now it certainly doesn't think I am. I definitely don't wanna go face first because you can see the thing is fired up and it'll hit me right away. And again, go in with confidence. Now, the last thing I always talk about is some people, you see it in wildlife shows, they just go in and grab them in the back of the head. Well, I tell you what, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I never grab a snake by the back of the head because even a tame snake gets very aggressive when you try to grab it by the back of its head. So I'm just gonna go in and see what happens. Again, not going by the front. I'm gonna go around the back and just see. Again, with confidence, picking it up. Ugh, just gotta be careful and be really gentle with this thing. Once you get it up, you're actually in pretty good shape. You can see it's pretty mellow once I get it up, but trust me, if I don't pay attention to this animal, it's gonna bite me right in the face. 
Well, I know I would get tons of hate mail if I was doing a show about handling mean snakes and didn't highlight Satan. That's right, we're gonna go ahead and see what she feels like today. <sighs> yeah, it looks like she's, <laughs> ooh, I'm in a bad spot here, guys. <laughs> oh, gotta make sure I have an escape route. As you can see, I guess my last point that I'm gonna make to you guys is you gotta know when to walk away. This girl is pretty fired up right now. And in pure snake bite style, I should probably walk away from this animal. You can see she's hissing and she's not in a good mood. But I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can tackle her. Again, using all the things I already taught you. Confidence, going from the back. And just making sure that she knows I'm not food. Again, I don't feel real comfortable with her right now. But you can see she's not that bad. Looks like I might get away from this without a bite today. Come on, girl. I've spent a lifetime handling snakes and certainly have learned a lot about it. Remember, the most important thing is you have to be as comfortable handling your snake as your snake is being handled. Wake up, wake up. You just sat through Brian's bibble babble bull Now, it's time for Chewy to show you how to really handle a snake. The five same snakes. Bottom line, just go in and get the stupid thing. Ooh. See, Brian would have been all scared and he would have been, Ooh, don't go under the business end of the junk and the junk and the business end. Not me. I just reach in and grab him. Okay, now to the king rat. Once again, I like to use my man technique. Because me, I'm not scared of shit. Whoa! <laughs> Come on! Whoa, you stupid <laughs> How did Hen Dog pick this thing up? Okay. I'm gonna have to go for the business end of the action, boy. <laughs> Look at this. Free handed. <laughs> okay. On to snake three. <laughs> now that I washed myself of snake jizz and all the stuff from another snake, I'm gonna handle the green tree python. Now. Nah. What I said about being careful, you want to use it for this guy. Because you don't want to be on a business. Ooh. This is not the business end. <laughs> Put him up. Put him up. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Look at this hand. Boy, I pick you up with this hand. Look Get at this. Here. Look at this hand, while I pick you up with this hand. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, Brian liked to use the black stubby tail, not me. I go for the long tails. Here we go. Always loosen up before trying to handle the animal. Then. <laughs> Why do they have to make sounds before I do it? <laughs> Come on, guys. Get his mouth as big and... This is... We use a lot of arch, folks. Oh, he's looking at me right in the eye and he said, get away. What am I supposed to do? What? Pick him up. He does that, he does that, and he scares me, he does that. When all else fails, grab something and block the line of range for his bite. There, I picked him up. I know you want him to turn around and bite me. Okay, I finished all the snakes. Like a man, Chewy style, took hey, the wait, business wait end in stride. Chewy, you didn't handle all the snakes, you forgot Satan. No, I handled Satan. No, you didn't, I've been watching. Uh, yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Lo lo Lori, Lori. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, here oh, I come. Let's go for it. Oh, I lost it. Here's some business. Here I go. 
We get bit a lot in the show. It's for fun and it's for entertainment. And who doesn't like to see Chewy get bit? But in reality, we don't try to get bit when we're not filming. We actually avoid getting bit. It's not something that we encourage you guys doing because after all, it's not like we're trying to act all macho here or something like that. There's no brownie points for getting bit by a snake. Hey, I love demolition derbies as much as the next guy, but you don't see me out crashing my car every week. Basically what I'm saying is be respectful to your animals. Yeah, every now and then you might take a bite. It's not that big of a deal, but don't try to be a hero. For this week's comment of the week, the question was, what kind of food do you hate? And Vance 44 said, I hate mushrooms. One time when I was a kid, my aunt made spaghetti with mushrooms in it. I told her it would make me sick, but she tried to make me eat it anyway. To this day, my cousins still call me a human fire extinguisher. Yeah, the thought of a human extinguisher, that one's gonna stick with me for a while. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show and got a little bit of tips on how you can handle a snake if it's in a bad mood. And I tell you what, if you guys just can't handle your snake anymore, make sure you talk to a herb society or a reptile rescue. As a matter of fact, check out this URL down below. It has some pretty cool resources. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites. <laughs> <laughs> you were shooting hands, you dirty.